Howdy guys, it's Tachi and welcome back to the second part of Let's Play the Book of Unwritten Tales. So we're going to take a look around at some of this stuff. A large crate. It must have been delivered as I, um, I swept. You mean slept. A little bit wrong with the words there. A thieving rat. Devious and dangerous. It always runs into its little hole when I get too close. <laughs> Dwarfs are excellent stone masons. That fireplace is proof. Hmm. That seems to be the rat hole where the little beast plans its raids. Well, we're gonna have to catch him. A dwarf sized crowbar. So it's pretty big. Let's pick up that crowbar. <laughs> I don't think so. Who knows? If I go poking around in that rat hole with a crowbar, it might start defending itself. Oh, come on. And everybody knows what a cornered rat is capable of. Eh, what else is in here? That's the Master Brewer's favorite spot. He likes to relax there in the evenings. It's a map. It says the country's best pubs on it. Yeah. It shows the area reaching from our beautiful White Ridge Mountains down to the sea, where the humans live on the coast. So we have elves, dwarfs, and humans. The pipes run through the walls and floor. They are part of the central beer supply system, which runs through the whole bastion. So maybe we can open this up now. Let's see. What the? What's that? Ah, the user manual. Yeah, uh, there you go. Wood elvish. Succubushish. <laughs> Here we are. Dwarven. Thank you for purchasing an X100 house robot. The latest in house robot technology. Feed the X-100 the stinking remains of your disgusting existence, <laughs> but absolutely no broccoli or Brussels sprouts. Hmm. But I like, I like mm. Bru Bru Rats, Brussels sprouts yeah. and broccoli. Rat care. Rats breeding. Uh, rat hunted. Rat hunted. In order to hunt rats or vermin of any kind, you must first feed the X-100 with DNA from your target. Okay. DNA carriers include hair, blood, sweat, snot, and... Ugh. Other things. Poop. That's what I'm guessing. I'm guessing it's okay. going to be poop. So first I have to give the robot a little garbage appetizer to start it up before I feed it the main course. Rat DNA. Finally, a simple rat trap. <laughs> if you call that simple. Ooh, let's go in the kitchen and see if we can get some scraps. Oh, so many things. Let's just start and work our way all the way around. That is the Bastion's emblem. Actually, an entire battalion of dwarves is supposed to be stationed here. Each battalion consists of seven companies, which in turn consists of seven platoons. Each platoon consists of seven squads of seven dwarves. <laughs> dwarves have this thing for the number seven. The Master Brewer says these kettles are used to make beer. This is his private setup, and the proper ones are in the cellar. Hmm. An old, rather dirty cooking pot. Huh. Oh. Ah, mutant slime. Maybe I should have thrown out the rest of that chocolate pudding. <laughs> A pile of dirty dishes. The longer the other dwarves are away, the less attention the master brewer pays to things like this. The stove isn't used much. So this morning, the master brewer heated up a few beer sausages on it. Mm. A tin coffee pot. It hasn't been used in ages. And guaranteed not for coffee. The master brewer doesn't trust non-alcoholic drinks. Hmm, the coals in the oven have kept the stove warm. Well, yeah, we got that. The sun is pretty low. It'll be dark soon. I call it A History of Dwarven Cuisine, The Last Three Weeks by Wilbur <laughs> Weatherville. Oh, man. Ugh. 
I know. A very roughly knotted net with loose ends. Maybe it's used for fruit. Although I've never seen any fruit around here. The master brewer prefers heartier fare. Mm. Dwarven fast food. But I'm not hungry. This pump can be used to pump water up from deep in the mountain. Although I wouldn't bet on it still working. No, let's try it anyway. I thought so. Broken. Broken. The dwarves have a lot of work ahead of them when they get back. If they come back. Now what was that supposed to mean? The rubbish bin is almost overflowing. Presumably it's my job to empty it, but... Oh well. A tin coffee pot. It hasn't... And guaranteed not for coffee. Let's try and do that. Maybe we can get some of it. I don't really think I'll be able to scoop the slime out of that pot. I'm not likely to be able to catch the slime with the net. It's too slimy. Hmm. Looks like that's all we can do in here. So let's head on out. Hmm. So now we got the food. Let's try to power it. Let's see how it likes this. <laughs> Aha! It worked! Oh, my frames just dropped quite a bit. Sorry about that. Ugh! It looks like the X100 really liked that rubbish. At least it's purring like a cat. Now I just have to get it to hunt like one. Hmm. Maybe. Nah. The net is pretty coarsely woven. The rat would probably slip through. Besides, I don't feel like sticking my hand in the dark hole. Okay. Hello, Master Brewer, sir. Hi, I will burn. Did you know there's an evil slime living in a pot in the kitchen? Oh, yes, it nicked a sausage <laughs> off me this morning. Well, doesn't that bother you? Well, yes. Live and let live, I say. As long as it doesn't develop a taste for beer. <laughs> hmm. Is everything okay with the beer? That's not so easy to say. It's complicated with beer. You initially think, hmm, that tastes good, but then, BAM! The finish is all off, earthy and musty, and there's nothing you can do. But of course, you can't really tell from just one pint. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm supposed to uncreate the robot and send it after the rat? Definitely. Shouldn't be too difficult for you, being a gnome and all. You've got the right kind of hands for all that technical stuff. I'm not really all that into technology. I'm more interested in the mysterious powers of magic. <laughs> well, in that case, I'm sure there's some instructions in the crate. Shouldn't be that difficult for Mr. Mage. <laughs> Where are the other dwarves, anyway? All the way fighting. You know that. There's been nobody here except me for years. I'm keeping the whole place ticking over. If you weren't here, lad, I'd probably have pegged it from loneliness long ago. <laughs> hmm. Have we still not won the war What's yet? What's the news from the front? The Alliance is winning, isn't it? It's a proper mess. They just swing back and forth. It's been like that for years. Neither side has the advantage. Today, we take Finsterberg, and tomorrow the Shadow Army plunders Auenheim. Today, we take care of Garrett the Throat Slitter, and tomorrow, they nobble Bella Sunnythor. <laughs> At the moment, we've got Mortroga's Fortress under siege, the old Arch Witch. Not getting anywhere fast, though. It could still be years before either side gets the upper hand. Hopefully, we do. Aye, let's hope so. It must be very lonely here without any dwarves. You miss the other dwarves a lot. Aye, there's not much going on here now, that's for sure. In the old days, it was packed and rowdy every night. Stone Chomper and Bolin the Bear, Peppo and Talon. <laughs> he could beat anyone at finger wrestling. 
And then, of course, there was Bellant, our leader with his golden tankard. Yeah. Now I've only got you here. You're not exactly a party animal. Maybe the other dwarves will come back soon. Maybe. Aye, and then they'll tell their tales of adventure, the times they've had and what they've been through. And me, I can only listen on. I'd like to hear their stories, seeing as though I'm not with them myself. I'll take care of the robot then, and the rat. Aye, go on then. So I'm getting a little bit of frame rate issues. With fraps it looks like. Maybe I can put the... Nah, the net beside. Hmm. Hmm. It's a little strange. I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that, and we're back. I just changed uh, recording programs. Maybe maybe that That's would help exit, a little bit. But I can't call it a day yet. First, I have hmm. to teach the house robot to catch rats. Well, I don't know what to do. You just go back in the kitchen, I guess. Maybe catch that slime or find something that we missed. Ooh, rubbish. Okay. Original dwarven rubbish from the dwarven kitchens. Hmm. What else do we miss? Oh, I know what to do, maybe. Mm, I guess not. There is no way I'm taking that pot with the evil slime in it. Slime can be <laughs> really evil. Bad slime. <laughs> maybe the rat was in the garbage? Hopefully. The robot is already chock full of disgusting leftovers. It can't hold anymore. Besides, it's already running. Okay. Hmm. A thieving rat. Devious and dangerous. It always runs into its little hole when I get too close. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what to do. How do you get rat DNA? The rat has chewed through the wood. There's some fur hanging from a splinter. Ooh, I'll take that. Oh, okay. Here we go. There we go. And now the fur. A source of rat DNA. <laughs> Come on, machine. You can do it. And it's gone. It won't be back anytime soon either. Problem solved. <laughs> There's a little cue for the puzzle being solved. And, uh, I think that's good enough for this episode. I'm gonna try to keep them short. I don't really want anybody watching a 30-minute episode like last time. 